for the policy. You do, but you know, uh, well, if you really picture for the group, Jim. What's that? I thought the picture took group. We took it. Not that kind of picture, mother. Oh, just... You're on YouTube. Let's have a look, see if we can get it. Jill? Yes? You're on YouTube. What do you mean? Are we? You're live on YouTube. Yeah. Oh. Let's not swear. I don't know if your audio will be. Just one second, I'm just going to mute it. I've just got a notification saying that you've gone live. Come on, let's test this out. Five people are watching. Oh, lovely. That me as well. Yeah. No, no, no. Right, we might have to just run this with no audio, but at least then there's some gameplay on here. Uh... Yeah. I'll see if I can win. They can hear you, apparently. No way. They can hear you, apparently. Why is punching it? <laughs> so you can hear me? The YouTube video has audio, by the way. It does, right. That's excellent. You are live watching Jilly Baby playing the Pokemon Online TCG. So I hope you guys enjoy and just see a basic game. Because hopefully as of tomorrow, Champions Park will be available available to play online. And I've got a video coming out. will be able out. to play online tomorrow. Will it not? No, it's, um, I think it's like a week after it's released, the code cards work. Mm. There you go. <laughs> It says so somewhere on the game. I had the same problem, you know, with when um, Darkness of Blaze came out. Mm -hmm. I tried to play in one of the tournaments with my UV, and it won't let me. Oh, so I'm just curious what game you're doing then. So I am actually currently playing a game live against Katia Lindsay 90 who is a friend of mine who is actually a subscriber to my channel. So I challenged her to a friendly battle, and we're going to see if water will take the trump over electric for all those that don't know electric would have the advantage here so we're going to see if it works the other way around I'm just wait for it to uh, continue this is crazy jill i'm going to get off the phone because my phone's dying but i'm going to watch it on my tv right so all right all right have you seen your comment? You're live on channel four. Please stop. Oh. <laughs> so you have to say hello to people. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day and you're enjoying yourself. Welcome to the channel where I'm just learning the basics of how to actually play the Pokemon TCG. So how has your day been all right? You, you're keeping well, social distancing. Like if you're over in America, hello everyone. Well, I'm just looking at the comments, so hey everyone, thanks for joining in. It's nice to uh, get some feedback on the channel. Hope you're doing well. Just talk to you, my channel. That's me writing, not you. Oh, that was a nasty move. Using that Gladian card, that, that is just, just a damn right. So, oh, I'm just reading comments from Kel. Um, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're all right. And yeah, you're right. What is social distancing? Because <laughs> everyone's confused by the standards set by our government of what it actually means at the minute. So, uh, how are you doing, buddy? Let's see what we've got here. We have a boost dash joy maker. 
put three cards. We ain't really got out in our discard just now. So we will just skip that. Yes, we'll enter. Thanks, Lindsay. Yes, I'm completely aware you can see my deck because no doubt you are watching this video on YouTube as well. And you shouldn't because that's just cheating. Now you know what hands I've got in my card. It's just wrong. You shouldn't cheat. Yes, I'm completely aware you can see my deck because no doubt you are watching this video. And you shouldn't because that's just There we go. Not much we can do on that move, everyone. Yeah, do you guys actually play it if you're watching at home? You know, like if you want to add me as a friend, it's uh, Jilly Baby in the corner, as you can see on the right hand side at the bottom. So you can add me and I'll be able to play you guys. That's not a problem. Oh, Aqua Patch, that is not a nice card to play with, guys. Need it with that one. And that is one down. Let's see, we always need a backup Pokemon. And we have one that just takes the... Alright, what can we do with this one? We still can attack, we can use Joy Maker. But we don't want to discard piles. So basically, this card is just my dummy card so you just put one out just to take the damage while you build up your bench which is what i tend to do build it up so that i'm ready to go i've got something that can just take out for example the palkia with full force so iub is literally just being bait really so let's see so now we can obviously get one out so we will stick Obi Obi. And it's my turn, so I can whack an energy out with this one. We can search for a basic, and with this one as well, we have a rescue stretcher. So I can actually pull a Pokemon card back, but at the minute, there isn't a point. So you can switch this with your basic, and I can just take out that Palkia, which is probably what I'm just going to do. Now, just take the cards out. to win is um, if you want to take out someone else's bench as well I find that easy because then you can win the game quite early if you want to do that so I've been winning that way on some of my games which helps but that is what we got there we have a Glacian so as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX and play in their hand will discard their pile and have no abilities except Reason Gate. Now I find that was a bit hard to take down. And the Nine Tails, I like when we did a go before. So let's see what we get. Again, an Aqua Patch. Taking an energy out and putting it onto the pile. Cloud Remove. And I'm just reading your message, Kel. I will have a look later. I've not really been on Facebook today. So I will get the time to look and I'll privately message you later. Take a look. Ooh, nasty. So what we will do, that's really no good there. Yeah, Jenny, I'm totally reading the comments in the share below and that Glaceon is a bit of a bitch. Not going to lie, I do not like it one bit. So let's see what else we can grab out of here. Yeah, so let's 
Yep. That has a basic, even though people can see what's in there. We have a rescue stretcher, which we will save. And done. Oh, well, congratulations, um, Kel. I've just read your message. I'm absolutely buzzing for you. Wow. Now, what we're going to do with this glacier, guys, what do you reckon? We just take it out on this next move we've got coming up because that's going to cause some damage along with this palg here. That's going to cause a bit of damage as well. So I think we'll just have to take the bench out here for us to stand a good chance because she's already got two prize cards to my none so far. And we've both got GX moves still to go. Just waiting for it to take a turn. Wow. Going for the bench. So what we will do is let's start adding. We are going to get one of them. We shall retrieve our energy cows that we have lost. We'll have to do some uh, other videos, won't we, to uh, right. see if we can't defeat uh, Jenny's Lunala. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just reading the comments again, everyone, and I'd like to say <laughs> well done to Jenny, I mean, because I think definitely taking out that power gear right now would probably be the smartest move. But my Jolteon has got Electro Bullet, so it will be able to take, should I swap it out? Lucy damage to the horsey if she keeps that in and it will take the palkir out as well so all i need to do really is get the chance to switch so again we'll just use this one and we can't attack which i don't intend to just now but shall i do this one or shall i just carry on as normal which i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy my time is it still a delay Is the stream still showing a delay in sound? If you just let us know if it's sounding all right now. Oh, lovely. 20 more damage to your opponent's cards. We'll see. That's way out of it. Thanks, Jenna. So what we're going to do...
as you can see, we have swapped our Pokemon. We've actually got our Morpico took the bullet there and did 150 damage to Glaceon. Then we swapped it with our Jolteon GX. So hopefully, depending on what a move is, we might be able to take out the Palkia in this next go. It all depends on this move. So Frost Bullet does 90 that I can see. What we're going to do is what we got here. Which one? A stretcher. So we just do that. like so. We need to get an energy and an item card. So we can always be with something that does more damage. Um, let's have a look. See if there's a pulse that we can put that middle one back into the hand to see if we Let's have a look. Let's switch. Pokemon communication. Reveal a Pokemon from your deck. Jenny's uh, after having you again. Oh, oh. Oh, yep, yeah, so we're able to use these two. Let's see how we get on with these. Hopefully, we have a good chance. So there we go, because I haven't used an energy, we can do that. And let's see what Pokemon we could do with. What do you think? Well, you don't want to take out that middle one, otherwise she's going to beat you. What, this one? Mm -hmm. Well, I could take that out now. Oh, yeah, you take that out now. I'll just do that. You murder the uh, Glaceon. It's the Pokey I need to take out as well. So let's see, we'll pick one and two, which we can draw three cards out, which is handy. There we go. And what she got, a nice... What a move. Very well played. Well played indeed. So let's put more Pico out. She is one card away from winning. Let's see what we've got. That's max discharge. We need to get some on the bench. Let's see what we can rescue. Just in case. Open that one. Reveal a Pokemon. Yeah, that was a totally backwards move, but just fills the cards, I guess. So these are always handy if you get really like dumb cards and you actually need anything better. 
best thing you do is get a synth in your card and then it just allows you to shuffle your deck and basically gives you a fresh hand so I usually have about three or four of these in my deck as a minimum to tide me over so what, what have we got here so ice cube when you attach a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon of course so this card actually allows you to look at your prize cards but I'm actually doing mine without looking at my prize cards heal 30 damage from it so let us see oh wow look at this so for those who don't know this is actually a hidden fates shiny pokemon an articuno which is a limited printed set which if you were to buy on the street now would cost you a lot of money unfortunately You can move any number of energy cards from your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. So what we're gonna do here? Just gonna do that. We're just gonna give it that. Now with it being a bird Pokemon, we should have the advantage here. I'm just gonna take it's being an idiot and just take one of them off. Do that. We're just gonna put one of them on there. And just do that. And that, my friends, is GG. So I'd like to thank Lindsay for playing a game with us because that was actually quite fun. And hopefully we can have another game if you're up for it. So we have got oh, another message. Let's have a look. Anyone got no low and nine tails? Don't think I've got a spare one. Got any packs to open my way? Uh, have I got any packs to open? Shall we have a look? Uh, collection. I don't think we do. Literally, these are all the cards we've got. Um, packs. No, we got nothing in packs, and we've got no gifts just yet. So let's have another, and see if Lindsay is up for another go. So you just click here, if you want to add your friend, and challenge to a game. So the deck I just use is called Beast Mode. This is like my early decks, and obviously I've got Charizard ones, Flareon, Gyarados, Lucario, and the Melmetal deck. So there's many decks that we've got there that we've just been trialing with, just to play, make my ultimate team. So we're going to see if Lindsay wants to play again. I'm just waiting for a response. Yeah. So I hope you guys actually play the TCG because it's fun. Because I'm willing to play with anyone when I'm online. Obviously when I'm not working. So it would be fun. Get a little community going. Right. So I have to take a mulligan straight away. Not good. Oh, let's see. So I do like your sleeves, uh, Lindsay. I think they're absolutely brilliant. I'm hoping that to uh, get my elite trainer box tomorrow and put them in some beautiful sleeves. Should it let me? So we are done. Oh, there's someone sent me a friend request. I do apologise. Um, I will get back to you on that. I don't know if I can see in the corner here. Where does it give you a game request? I'm relatively new to it, so it's not because I've ignored you on purpose. It generally is because I'm still learning the fundamental basics. So if you want to try again, if it hasn't gone through, I will accept it. All right, so we've got no additional Pokemon we have there. And my opponent is starting their Pokemon. Oh, lovely. That's a rather nice uh, starter, an Inteleon V. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Lovely. So first we want an energy. So I could have used the evolution, but there is no point. Because obviously I want to attack the Pokemon. So I would have just wasted that move right there. But it's handy if I'm looking for something else. When this Jolteon wants to get in the bay there. 
and obviously we've got energy retrieval is quite handy so we have choice band this does 30 more damage to your pokemon's active we'll keep that anyway we don't need the evolution stone so we can't attack on this goal i'm afraid Energy evolution. Let's see, will she pick a glacier? Of course. Pokemon Fan Club, that's a good hand card. Articuno is amazing. And a Dialga, so that's pretty much a GX bench. Got a feeling this round is going to be yours, Lindsay. That's your bench. I'm pretty much screwed right there. So we ideally need to get something on my bench, which isn't going to happen right now because I need to find an evolution Pokemon. So the best bet I've got at this current minute is to take down whatever I can. And get something going. In. So we'll just take some prize cards for now. One thing, one thing I find is when you have the nine tails out from this collection, it is not good because you can't actually attack no matter what. So I've had to use my jolts in another way of taking down the bench to compensate for their moves so there's no point taking that off because she's going to add it but it means she can't use three so we're just going to take one of them off so she can't attack me on this next round again we've got all our energies we've got the retrieval so we're just going to oh, well, oh, see this we've still got no pokemon on the bench and i'm really hoping she doesn't take the jolly on out because she will win this without actually doing much damage. Come on, I need to get something out on this bench. I can't switch because I've got nothing there. I just have to search for an evolution Pokemon, which isn't good because we've got nothing there that we can actually physically use best thing I can do is probably try that and see if we can get some which is pointless but two cards and hope that is is there we go now we can actually have something on our bench we can actually have two Pokemon on our bench if she doesn't take this out straight away which, yeah, which, yeah, as I've just been reminded, she can't attack because I've just protected myself from all damage using my GX move. So even if she did attack, it wouldn't matter. I can still get two Pokemon on the bench, then I can find my, use my Evolution Incense to actually add a GX Pokemon onto one of my others. So we actually have a good chance. And that's if she doesn't take it out. I mean, she won't be able to take it out because I've prevented any attacks and damage. But she will. So make your any number of money and buy it as big. So we'll get these straight on. Straight on. And we can do this. Will allow me to move it into my jolts. I always carry two of these in my deck, just in case. And as you can see, I can use this one, find the Raichu, I can actually get the other Raichu or the Morpico V. Well, obviously, I've not got my Morpico, so there's no point grabbing that just yet. Let's see, so that power here really needs to go. So we are going to just take it.
is going to switch on for a bit. <laughs> That there. Roll my Pikachu. We are going to put an energy on Jolteon. And then we are actually going to take out the horsey and get rid of that Palkia and save the mine, which only leaves it with 10 damage. Which a lot of people would have thought, why don't you just go for that? But by taking out that power key that has three counters on, I will also get prize cards as well. So, pretty much, I'm just not really going to bother. I just literally go into Electro Bullet again, taking out the power key, and I'm also going to take out the power key as well. So that is game set match. That's two out of the two. Yeah, so I'm just reading my comments, guys. So I'm just gonna I'll give a little shout out to Chen that I am actually gonna add your friend's request because I wasn't being rude. I'm just trying to figure out where it comes up on my computer. So what I'm gonna do is just click here, see if it ah there we go. Now I'm figuring it out requests. If you are Pokemon MTDS, I will obviously add you because I like, you know, I'm quite happy to play anyone, but obviously because I've never actually had anyone request me before, I'm still learning the basics of the game. So if you want to go, by all means, put a comment in the caption below and I'll play you right now if you want. Let's see how you are, see your cards, that'd be nice. If not, I will wait for another for anyone that wants to challenge. Because it's good, it's just good fun to play the game. I mean, I can play the handheld game as well, which I use Electric Deck for that. Um, and all those who don't know, like Sketch, Sketch plays as well. But oh, there we go. So Pokemon MTDS. So I will, I will actually play my Beast Deck as I call it, my Beast Mode. So thank you for adding me as a friend. And best of luck. And sleeves. Them, yeah, them sleeves are beautiful. Look at that, Garchomp. That is beautiful. No, I'm not going to go first. I must say, your cover on your sleeves is beautiful. That is a deck box. It's a beautiful deck box. How long have you been playing? Have you been playing long or have you got some really good cards in there that you're absolutely probably going to annihilate me with? If you do, good luck. So I am done for my turn. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Rainbow rare. So what was that one? We have each base in this one. Right, so we have got that one there. We can play our energy. So straight away. We don't want to quit. Oh, 
Quick draw. We will take that review. Don't think of letters. Done. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna get annihilated here, everyone. So again, we'll just put an EV out. Put these in the deck. And there. Reveal a Pokemon. Which we can't do. So I've just been informed that a friend of mine, Jenny Bean, wants to play next. So I'm quite happy to play Jenny Bean next. I absolutely get my butt kicked and um, quite frankly it was an amazing set of cards. Very well played. Let's see, you want two energies, that'll do. And we add them for our turn. And it clicks. Nice. Absolutely tragic, but well, very well played to Pokemon MTDS for annihilating my cards. Very well played, well done, and hopefully I'll find a better deck to beat you with. So thank you for the challenge. That, that was actually quite fun. It was nice to see your cards as you, you've been playing for a, a fair bit of time, I guess, and well played. So let's see, I think... A friend of mine, Jenny, wanted to play, so we're going to click on Jenny's and see. There we go, has challenged you to a match, so we are going to play and we will accept. So, what's going on your channel in the forthcoming weeks? Ah, yeah, so <clears throat> in the next few weeks, I have got loads of Darkness of Blaze things to open. So I've still, I've actually got a brand new booster box. I'm still on the hunt for my Zard. Um, you know, hopefully I will find it, but it's not looking likely. I've got an, not an elite trainer box because I've just done one of them. A Pokemon toolkit. I do have an elite trainer box um, for Champions Path, hopefully coming tomorrow, but obviously they're sold out everywhere. And I'm, look, I'm just looking forward to playing the game is really and getting my videos out and obviously I do cold card giveaways on the channel as well so if you guys are looking for a, a cold card I'm quite happy to give them out all you have to do is just subscribe to my channel it's free to do so and obviously like I can keep coming with the cards and hopefully you guys enjoy it because even if you don't collect cards it's it's fun for children and you can play obviously I'll play the TCG with you guys online all for fun obviously I do community days so recently we had Porygon and I got five shinies so I hope you guys got some as well it was uh, quite fun I thought because you know it's 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 banter it's going out it's having fun with everyone enjoying yourself and just having a good time I mean obviously with social distancing you can't get too close to everyone so what I tend to do is just um, go out with my friends, keep our distance, and walk the dog as well occasionally at the same time. 
and obviously the next, I think the next community day when that comes up is a Charmander so that'll be interesting because obviously everyone's going to want shiny Charizard but one thing I will say I've noticed in the Champions Path collection that's out tomorrow here in the UK is that there are only 80 cards in this collection obviously there's a rainbow rare Charizard and a shiny shiny Charizard as I would call it because it's not shiny on the card and Charizard is a shiny black card so it therefore makes it shiny shiny they're the two most wanted cards in the collection and you do only have one gold card in that as well so I'll be interested in see if I can complete that collection which I'm hoping to do that oh a Mewtwo very nice but one thing I've noticed is that Cosmog revolves all the way up to a Lunala. So I'm going to want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Because there is a Cosmog. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon so it will teleport. This is where I probably should have used Jolt. Take that card out first. But we can. Let's see, what shall we do here everyone? What do you reckon? Do this, get the more Pico going. That means obviously we can't attack. We can, however, just remove an energy from there and switch. So Iron Tail, which we can't retreat, we have to cost. So I am done for this move. I could have switched out, but it's no good. Lovely. So what have we got there? We have got our Cynthia. So we could actually do a move right now. We've got a switch. So let's see. Flip a coin until we get a tails. This attack does 30 damage for each heads. Oh, well, that was a pointless move, wasn't it? Not the best of tricks right there. But I want to get rid of this Lunala that is on the bench. Move all the energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. We've got to get rid of that card. So our more pistol is up. So what we've got here, put four basic energies from your discard into your hand. Now we could just do that. Save that card. We've only got one in there anyway. But we're guaranteed our energy for this round. Whack it off. Like so. Now we could actually shuffle these, which I think I will do. So then at least I've got something on the bench as a possibility. But yeah, we do. So we've actually got that. And what have we got here? Search for a GX Pokemon. So we'll get another GX of some kind. There won't be any big... Well, yeah, we do actually have a basic GX. So we will put, hmm, there's only 40 damage between that and that, so we will actually just put that one in, just because it's there. And we can't attack with our more Pico, we could match revive the other one. But I've got little faith in our mouse Pokemon. Wow. Wow. A double attack. That is just so savage. Right there. You confuse me and poison me. That is not very nice. <laughs> but that's the whole point of the game. Let's see. What do we get for three? Well, I think we're going out for an all out attack here. Get the move out because we were poisoned. That's the only thing with the heads and tails count is this if it doesn't go your way, you can't just screw like now. Very well played. I 
and she will take freeze prize cards for that. So first off, we have got to get our bench out before she takes anything else. And we'll take one out. Let's get one on there, because we actually still have our GX moon. And we will shuffle up and see what else we can get out. Oh, we have something else to put on the bench. And we are practically done for this turn as well. There's nothing really I want to switch with. Hopefully go for this full blitz. But if you look, our oh, tag bolt GX. Nice! So Galio and Lunala. Very nice. Search your deck for two basic energy. So that's actually a handy card as well. So if you're struggling to get your energies out and you know they're in your deck, definitely play that card because I use it myself. And as you can see, Jenny uses it and it just helps find them. There are other cards you can use that find basic energies as well. So one thing I've noticed is if you're using a fire deck, you can actually use Welder. So a trainer Welder allows you to get, I think, two energy cards out, two fires and you can use that which is handy so what are we what can we use here so we've already got two energies we don't really need that just yet so we will actually heal a bit from our tag team Pokemon and again we can't attack so we're just gonna be done with that but we will be back with the next card hopefully to take out at least that Mewtwo so she could she could she could take me out on the next go which is my worry and concern, but she can't GX move. That is practically what she can do, though. I think that's game set match two for Jenny. So I've won two and lost two, which is a shame. So that's like a 50% 50, <laughs> 50 strike rate. So that was actually a fun game. So thank you for Jenny for playing that. If you want another game, just let me know in the comment section below. And we'll see if you want one or not. But if not, well played. Very well played indeed. I mean, if people want to see this as a regular thing, we can look at doing this. Oh, wow, yeah, definitely. So I've been challenged by Pokemon. Let's see, what deck could we use? Now, some of these I haven't actually remembered what's in them. So I'm just going to try this one because I can't actually remember. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Psychic deck, I've noticed, is quite popular for opponents to use. And I've lost the coin flip. Ah, that's what's in these ones. I think this is one of my early custom made decks. Like when I first started figuring out what the game does. The one I have actually physically like with me is totally different. <laughs> but I haven't got the cards for the online TCG to actually display them just yet. Which is a bummer. Oh. Nice. That's a really nice card there. Dragon Bolt. So that is from the River Clash collection for those that are watching who don't know. The previous one before Darkness of Blaze. Wow, nice move. Well played. Let's see, we'll get something else on the bench. So we have a choose up to two, a combination of two. So you have six cards, which is pointless because we actually have six. So look at one of your face down prize cards, which is a handy move. You're watching. So there we go. Done. Okay. 
That is nice. A tapu lele. <laughs> That's going to take a lot of damage to actually take that one out. So let's see. Wow, a nice gold card. Do you actually collect the um, trading cards, Poke? If you do, like, how are you getting on? Have you completed your decks? Or do you just, like, get the codes? Let me know. Well played. Set match, so it's not really been my night for the last few rounds. Jenny wants to know if you want mm -hmm. So I've just got another challenger for Jenny, so I will definitely play you, Jen. Away we go. Oh. So we are waiting for our opponent. Yay! Wait a few times I actually win the coin flip. And I'm not going to go first. And do you like your sleeves? I want your sleeves, I've decided. So we will make that our active. And we can have something on the bench as well. And we are done for this move. Oh, Cosmog, it's always out there. Got to take that out before it becomes the Lunal. As you can see, it's moving. So we have got that. They are, them sleeves are actually out of the trainer uh, toolkit box, for those who don't know. Which are very, very nice. I believe you get four actual packs, a your dice counters, your sleeves, which Jenny has currently got. So that's from the toolkit, which are I've yet to actually open mine because I will be opening that for the channel and I will give away the four cool cards that are actually inside. So, like I said, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll you know you can get these cool cards for the actual game. I have no problem with that. So as long as you guys enjoy playing the game, that's what it's all about. Just excited for Darkness of Blaze. So, um, for those who actually want some trainer cold cards, I will have a look in my pot upstairs. That's usually what I do with them, put them in a pot. I keep some just for those who haven't yet got any so if you want to private message me on jilly baby pkm on, on my instagram page just send me a private message and i will send you the a picture of the call cards and um, just because i'm using my laptop at the minute i will actually get back to you so by all means message me on there and i will send you some call cards direct because it's it's going to be fun Am I right sharing you Instagram? Yeah, so I'm going to share my Instagram page so that everyone can have a look at that, like join up. So let's see. We are going to whack this Raichu on rather than the GX Raichu. 
because there is method in my madness. We are going to put that one on there. So we don't really need to do anything else for this move. And we are done. So yeah, if you just send me, like I said, a PM on my Instagram page, Jilly Baby PKMN, and then I will send you your cards. So I'm not sure how many is up there, but I will send you some. Because I've still got the uh, booster box to open, so I know there's at least 36 in there. My trainer toolkit, there'll be at least four in there. So everyone can enjoy some cold cards. I think I've even got an Eevee. No, I open, actually opened up the EV tin, a, an Eternatus V tin, and the Pikachu V tin. So I will have codes from that as well. So it's definitely, um, like I said, worth worth getting. Let's have a look. Search your for a GX. Reveal it. Yep. We will get that GX. And we need an energy. Yeah, so this will probably be my last game for the night, everyone, because work beckons in the morning I'm afraid and obviously I'll have to do that so let's see we are gonna do this oh, these types of streams hopefully right every other night every night if I can play online against everyone just, just for a bit of fun and obviously like you guys have friends online as well and they want to play looking for someone new you can obviously share my my channel with them share it on here that's fine oh what a damage that that's savage on the mewtwo really it's got to go that was just absolute carnage so we're just going to get eevee out right there what are we going to do we're going to can we do that? Yes, damn right I'm going to win Bulbwit. It. It's coming. You know what's going to happen right now, everyone. Before I even do a move, what's going to happen? Again, we can search for a GX. So, shall we search for a GX? Yes, we shall. Which one do you think, guys? Because I'm feeling... Have well, we got another EV out? Yes, we have. So, we'll just take that one out. Evolve it on our turn. But we are just going to savagely take out that card. Gone. Bye bye. So we're going to take two of our prize. Ooh, energies. Always handy. And the special energy, of course, which allows us to draw two cards. We need to get rid of them Cosmogs before they evolve. The evolve it. There we go. A Lunala. This is where I'm savagely going to get attacked. 250. Lunar Force. So knock out one of your Pokemon's basic. That isn't a Pokemon. Lovely. And obviously that's the ability it has. As often as you like during your turn. Not cool, man. Not cool. I think it is GX time. And we are going to attach to that. We actually have an evolution Pokemon now. I don't really need that. So I think it is definitely GX time. At least I can't get attacked on the next move. Dude, really, with Electro Power as the next card? Because that would allow me to actually finish off that Lunala. But somehow, on the rules of Pokemon, it's not always your hand. So wait for Jenny to take her move. So let's have a, there we go, we actually got our little wish. So let's attach an energy here just in case. And we put our electro power, which means this is going to do more damage. And we see we could, see now she swapped it out. Mm. Mm, what do we do? Let's just take the new one. Uh, Jolly on's good to go. What I probably might actually do is look at my Raichu on my Pikachu and Reshiram tag team, which I actually got from winning the versus games. 
Seems like Zekrom's holding it by the scruff at neck. You will go and fight. <laughs> you look at the size of a Zekrom <laughs> compared to Pikachu, it's ridiculous that like, they probably have the same power. I mean, a bit Arceus like created these for the laughter. But yeah, a little mouse Pokemon is going to bring down an entire army of bird Pokemon just on its lonesome. Oh, there's a super. Oh, of course, it can move any of the cards to and from like so. Very clever. This does 30 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. So that's going to be 90 damage. 150. Ouch, that stung. Absolutely savage. See, there's no point in match reviving because I don't have a heal. So this allows us to basic. So well, let's have a look what basic. We don't want that. Yeah, we'll have a more Pico. And what else shall we get? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So there are two basics we've just picked. And of course we can put that on our bench. We can put that on the bench. We obviously used our energy, max revive. I can't remember what's in there. What did she just take out? Anyway. Hmm, yeah, but she'll take me out in the next move. Did we get rid of that Mew? Yes, we did. Times go, yeah, you take is that two or three? Quite nice to see it goes. No, that's actually uh... yeah. lovely how you can pick which one you want to move. Yeah. I'll switch it back, that's very clever. Mm. Well, you know what you're doing next time. Hmm? You know what you're doing next time. Psychic transfer, that is actually crazy. You can just move all your energies. Wow. So, what we're going to do, we're going to switch. Have a look, so we're gonna revive that bad boy just in case. Oh, come on, really? Get that one out, and let's just take the thicker out. Switched up, I managed to take most of the damage out of that Lunala. Ideally, it would be better for Electro Power to be there because we could have actually taken that out as well. But I should really get some of that. It allows me to take cards out of my discard pile. Like an item retriever, perhaps. I mean, there could actually be a card that does that, and I've not noticed it yet. Like Town Map being one of my favourites because it allows you to see your prize cards. Because then, if you know all your hands, all your decent cards are actually in your prize card pile, you can just. Use town map and click which ones you actually want. So it's always better to have a backup plan. Continue from the transfer of the Pokemon card, five strike. Which a lot of damage is going to do. Well, I am surprised by that. Quite surprised because. I don't really need to because I'm just going to be savage and just do that. Take out the Lunala. So, thank you for that, Jenny. That was actually a really good game. Very well played. That Lunala is a bit of a beast, if I do say so myself. Well, that 
unfortunately is going to be my last game for the night and hopefully maybe tomorrow night i will probably play for an hour or two and it was fun to play with you guys i will see you soon